Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to watch it continually. Watch out for any other intentions that may come in. Because you're here to do something good. You're here to build something good in the mind. A state of concentration, a state of being centered, solid, clearly in the present moment, so you can see things clearly. And this is a good thing to build, so don't let any other intentions come in and say, you should be doing something else, or you would like to do something else. If there are any shoulds, this is one of the things you should be doing. The Buddhists set out four duties. You should try to comprehend your suffering. You should try to abandon the cause. You should try to realize the cessation of suffering, and you do that because by developing the path. So you should develop the path right now. As for your likes and dislikes, you can put those aside. When duties come up like this, you realize okay, your likes will be helpful only if you can learn how to like the duty. This is one of the reasons why we play with the breath. It gives us something to keep keep us entertained as we meditate, and to create a, create a sense of well-being so that you can be here even more solidly. When the Buddha describes right concentration, the central terms are in the first jhana, pleasure and rapture, born of seclusion. So these are not just side effects of the, of the concentration, they're an important part of it. They serve a purpose, they give you food on the path, pleasure on the path. So you can learn how to like being on the path. So when we talk about the duty of doing right concentration, it doesn't seem so heavy. It's something that's good for us, and something we enjoy doing. So try to find some enjoyment in this. After all, it's good for you. The more the mind can be centered and stable like this, the more clearly it's going to be able to see when it's doing something unskillful. And you can remind yourself that your happiness and lack of happiness in life don't depend on things outside. They depend on your own lack of skill. So here's your chance to develop more skill, to develop more happiness, to be more responsible inside, and less a victim of things outside. If your happiness depends on other people being a certain way, then when they're not that certain way, you feel that you've been attacked. You've been neglected, you've been deprived, none of which are good places to be. When you realize you're the one that's responsible and you can take responsibility for your happiness, then you're secure wherever you go, and you're more and more likely to do the skillful thing, say the skillful thing, think the skillful thing. It's for your own well-being, long-term well-being. So always keep this in mind. We try to work on this skill every day, because all the skills we have, it's probably the most necessary. So learn how to enjoy it, and that'll make it a lot easier to master it. <laughs>